Buzzing overhead, a parade of helicopters drop bucket after bucket of water on smoldering hot spots. A flurry of activity along Highway 43, just north of Fox Creek. Layer after layer of fire guard dug up around the community has succeeded in keeping the flames out. To my understanding, the fire has not moved to closer to the communities, and we are continuing to uh, work hard to hold it. The highway that had been closed since Friday now finally reopened. But police warn the threat is still very real and are cautioning those who can finally get through to go slow. There are active fire operations going on to suppress, slow down, deplete the fire of its fuel resources. Right? And that's not just on the ground, but we also do have air support that is up there. Still early in the season, wildfires in Alberta have scorched nearly 1 million hectares of land. While we're optimistic that the forecast rain will be enough to make a difference to some wildfires in the province, we are not out of the woods yet. Very anxious to get home, and that has happened right since the beginning. Fox Creek Mayor Sheila Gilmore says she's seen her community go through a range of emotions, from fear and frustration to a feeling of defeat. But the most recent reports are positive. There's some optimism there for sure, but we just need to see the rain start, and then I think things will feel a lot better. Fox Creek, after so many days of scorching dry heat, is now under a rainfall warning. 50 to 75 millimeters is expected by Wednesday. It's rainfall that, for many Albertans, can't come soon enough. Blake Law, Global News, Fox Creek, Alberta.